Hi everyone. I'm gonna have to figure out how to do like a proper introduction because I'm still not really used to saying that and it feels so awkward. Anyway, today I wanted to do something a little bit different. I've seen people on YouTube do things like character design prompts. I love designing characters, so I'm gonna try doing that today. I've gone online, I found this character generator uh, Seventh Sanctum. You can kind of pick your options and whatever. So I've got it ready to go. And all I'm gonna do is press generate. Okay, so my prompt is, this guy reminds you of a prowling alligator. He has narrow white eyes that are like two plates of fine china. His thick, straight, ash gray hair is medium length and is worn in a dignified style. He has a plump build, his skin is tanned, he has thin lips, his wardrobe is artistic. Okay, cool. Already I'm out, out of my comfort zone because I prefer drawing girls. He's like a prowling alligator, so he's gonna be like, kind of lumbering, I suppose. And he's kind of, it says he has a plump build. So, okay, so if he's kind of, if he is a prowling, like a prowling alligator, maybe he's kind of a bit, a bit hunched over or his head is a bit like stretched out and like alligators have like their arms like that kind of a bit, don't they? Their arms are, what would you call them? They're like little lizard hand talon things, legs. So maybe, okay, so, and he's kind of plump. Okay, so first, I feel like alligator is my kind of key feature. Prowling like an alligator is a key feature here. So I'm gonna, and if his clothes are artistic, then maybe I can kind of draw on that a little bit. So maybe he's got like a kind of a cloak. Um. He's, he's gonna be like a little human alligator now in my head. So maybe I can give him like tiny little feet. That looks weird, I'll make them bigger. Oh, okay, hold on. He's artistic, so he can have little crocodile boots. Alligator boots, whatever. I don't know what like an artistic wardrobe means, but Oh, he could be kind of, oh yeah, okay. I know I'm really, really running with this alligator theme, but like, so like, if he had like high pants. Okay, this came to me a little bit faster than I expected it would. So he has small little feet, and then maybe kind of like a, what does a croc, what does an alligator look like? It kind of has like, those really kind of long, sneaky, eyes, doesn't it? Oh, gross. Okay, no. <laughs> oh, but, yeah. Hold on, again, he's kind of plump, so I have to remember that in his face. Oh, he could be like one of those really, oh, I, I have an idea. Okay, so he could be like one of those really arty, farty, up themselves, almost kind of like a, he's got shoulder length hair, okay, but it's tied up in a dignified style. So like in a kind of ponytail kind of thing. Like those, an art collector or something. Okay, maybe I'll just focus on his face more. See, he has narrow white eyes that are like an alligator's. I mean, sorry, that are like two plates of china. If he has a plump build, I don't know, maybe he can be, yeah, like one of those like super arty people who like talk bull all the time um, and are just really kind of like, maybe he can have like a really wide, gross smile and like a little mustache. A sideburn action. Okay, so his hair is pulled back in a kind of in a dignified style it says so yeah like I was doing here that kind of like really slicked back 
gross hairstyle. Okay, I kind of like how this is going. He doesn't look like an alligator anymore, but... Oh, yeah, okay, so actually he could really be like really hunched over maybe and like oop, and like kind of plotting <laughs> I actually really like how he looks really kind of smarmy and slimy actually I can give him like some hair in his ears yes okay so thin lips okay well we've already got that he doesn't have anything there yeah I actually really like how he's looking so far really sneaky Actually, he might need to hunch over a little bit more. So, it could be like wearing a shirt and maybe like a cravat or something. Uh, with like a waistcoat, uh, with his sleeves rolled up, because he's like ready to do business. And then, you know, he's got like his hairy arms. Oh, I actually really love him. He's gross. So his hair is in a bit of the in the way a little bit. So I'm actually gonna bring it up here. So like his hair is like drawn, like combed back. Maybe I cut out that bit and just make it like square. Now he looks like some kind of bank mogul or something or mafia boss. He looks like he'd be called Tony or something. So, so far, I really like how that's going. So I think everything is kind of like... First I need to kind of finish the rest of his body and give him like tiny li little legs. Oh, actually he should be like... Maybe he could have like um, flares or something. I need to remember as well to give him like pudgy fingers. I really like how this guy is turning out. Okay. So maybe if I gave him a little bit more space, like uh, a hip, and maybe with his leg out like this. It looks really, really weird. I think his, proportionally, maybe his legs are still actually a little bit long. So I feel maybe if I follow the, cur the curve of his left side here, he looks more sneaky rather than smarmy, if that makes sense. I kind of want that silhouette where they're just kind of like standing though. He looks really really ridiculous but I kind of love it so like literally his head is like a square with like a circle and then his entire body is just like a huge circle and this is the thing I always have problem drawing like fat men I always have trouble making that connection between that bottom roundness of their belly I have trouble making it connect to like their legs. I don't know why. It seems like it should be straightforward, but it just gets me every time. I don't know why. Oh yeah, Rocky and Muggsy from Warner Brothers. Like yeah, literally just, just that. And even like the little kind of tiny little feet they have. Yeah. I still kind of like my little crocodile boots idea, so I might stick with that. But yeah, okay, that definitely helps a lot. Thanks Rocky and Muggsy. Oh, well actually, hold on. So maybe his pants can be pulled up a bit as well. <laughs> he looks so stupid. What a dope. So, I'm gonna try and refine it a little bit more and then maybe I can get him to a stage where um, I can color him a bit. Okay, so I think I'm pretty happy with that. That's just like a more refined version of the sketch. Yeah, I think he looks pretty good. He definitely does not resemble an alligator anymore <laughs> compared to like what I was trying to do up here where I like really elongated his neck and stuff and did those little kind of alligator legs. But no, now he became that and I really like it. 
Oh, I forgot. His outfit is supposed to be artistic. Okay. Let's go artistic then. I started getting too much into the idea of him being like a mafia boss, so... Okay, he's done. I gave him the pinstripes again. The flowers on the shirt look way better. He does look a little bit more artistic. So sorry, my battery just ran out there. All I had done was I had tried putting some polka dot stripes on his pants, but it looked too much like a pajama. And I removed his shirt and gave him some sexy chest hair. While I was waiting for my battery to charge, I went ahead and traced the image onto um, um, some marker paper. And I am going to color him now. I don't actually know what color scheme I'm gonna go with yet. If he has an arty outfit, then it's probably gonna be quite bright. I'd like to keep his palette relatively simple, I think. I'm definitely thinking of like a really, really bright shirt. And maybe his suit could be purple or something fun. It could be a dark color anyway. I'm not actually sure what ash grey is. Okay, so apparently it's kind of like this colour. Hair, sorted. His skin is tanned. That could work. It's quite strong, but once it dries, it'll, it won't look so bad. I also have this one, which I think might work better. Oh, it's even called light suntan. I'm actually thinking I might do the darker gray. Then for his suit, I had something kind of like a dark desaturated purple in mind, but I don't think I have that. I could make it like a dark blue, complement it with like a yellow shirt or an orange shirt. Oh, I really wanted pink though, like a really hot pink. That might be a bit too much, except when this one dries, it actually goes to a much more bubblegum pink than highlighter. What about this? Oh yeah, yeah, actually that would work really well for his suit. Goodbye blue. Orange can feck off as well. Okay, not much else to do now except actually color. That color is exactly what I was looking for. So while all of the marker is drying, I'm just gonna start doing some detailing. Actually, though, I might make his boots, his little booties, green or something, just as a reference again to the kind of alligator look, which makes me think crocodile skin shoes. Something like that could work. No. I think I will go with the lighter green, because then I can darken it with some uh, polychromos pencil. really cute. I really want a shirt like this now. Eyes. 
are like it says it said his eyes were like fine china but I can't make them white without him looking blind I think yeah I think what I might do is still outline them with black oh yeah yeah I better add a few I forgot his, his gross little mustache oh perfect done. Last thing, I'm pretty sure he needs to like be standing on something just to ground him a little bit. Yeah, that would be perfect I think. And there we go. Yeah, there are elements that I forgot about, like the stripes, so I might add that in just before I scan it. But otherwise I'm really happy with it. I kind of do prefer his expression here as well. That is our character prompt of the day. With his tanned skin, I've lost the prompt now actually off my phone so I can't, I can't double check the exact prompt again, but it had an artistic outfit, straight, shoulder length hair pulled back in a dignified style, um, tan skin, plump body, poised like an alligator. I think I kind of lost that along the way but I'm still really really happy with how he came out. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this uh, little character design exercise. I'd love to do some more. Uh, please let me know what you think if you'd like me to do more and I will see you in the next video Have a lovely day and thank you very much. Bye. Bye